Mix. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are at Trail Hero. This is day two, uh, and today we're going to be running Slip Block Gulch. Trail rated six, about the same intensity as yesterday's trail, which uh, was pretty fun, actually. So uh, we're looking forward to getting out on trail, and we're going to take you with us for the journey. So stay tuned because we got a lot more coming your way. This was the first real obstacle on the trail. The first few Jeeps didn't have any big issues getting up. Our Jeep, however, had other plans. Yeah, it's the tow bar bracket, isn't it? Yeah. This was a pretty legitimate waterfall. Even with the three and a half inch lift on 37s, we still scraped a bit due to the longer wheelbase. It just needed a little extra from the skinny pedal. Well, that was crazy. We couldn't even uh, make it up that thing because of the base plate. Like, we've never, that thing's never stopped us before. Right. And we had actually had to take a different line. So, it looks like that's the last time uh, our toe stuff is going to get in the way. We actually crushed the uh, connection back in to the bumper itself. Did they go up the So, I don't think we're going to be able to hook this back up. I'll have to probably bend it back up. But, time to get rid of this. After regrouping, we would make our way to the second part of Slip Lock Gulch, navigating through parts of Sand Hollow that have been washed away during the recent flooding. Because of that, this place is continuously changing, and it's part of what makes it so unique. If you've never been here, it's definitely worth stopping through. The wheeling is just different than any other place that we've been. I was starting to get a little bit nervous on this obstacle. There weren't any spotters around, so we were kind of left on our own to figure out how to navigate through it. We're still trying to find the limits of what this brick can do given its new lift. Ah. And we're still trying to figure out what's normal and what's not. Do you want to come more? 
this way, then it's good. I made the mistake you did, and yeah, I lifted a rear tire four feet in the air, it felt like, so. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna wanna come a little more up. There you go, keep coming forward a little bit more. Great, Very good. Yeah, it's hard to turn. Yeah, it's hard to turn. Now you're gonna wanna start cutting right. So then, yeah, you can either go up to the right or the left is an op optional obstacle. So he's kind of This was that optional obstacle after the waterfall that we just climbed. In hindsight, I'm really glad we took the bypass after witnessing what happens next. Get right here, so we can run. Yeah, I want to put the winch right about where that dirt is. Just yeah, I did. Uh, you can back straight down. I'll guide you. Yeah. You just, I just want you to come straight down. You're fine. Keep going. Huh? Does anybody have any rope? You want to try and pull the bubble rope? Yeah, bubble rope. Yeah. 
I was gonna say, I can stand on it if you want me to. You gotta post, fight the tire? Yeah. And this. He's gonna right back now. it up a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, shoot. Well, you, you had it, honestly. You, you had it, and then that front tire just bounced off, so. Hey! Yeah. Once it bounces, it. <laughs> Oh, you got it retained. Do we want it? Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. You go higher up on the cage. If you get to the top of the roll cage, it'd be great. Actually, get better leverage. Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Right around yeah. this corner, right yeah. here. Find a nice, good welded. Been here long enough. All right. All right, we're good. Yeah, I would go back to this. Give you a tug on the front, get you up. Sure. Yeah, dude. Doesn't look like anything sure. happened. Sure. I've had my fun for right. the day. <laughs> yep. This is Hardtop Alley. It's named this way because if you don't stay on the wall, you'll fall and smash the top of your rig into the wall. Miraculously, this Jeep avoided contact. The trail guy decided it was best to winch the jeep over while he backed out to avoid body damage. Bottom. Yeah, it's just a clamp that there's a white uh, piece that slides down and then the clamp pulls out. It's like one of those Moldex type connectors. Yeah, I got the door. Yeah, so on the inside that panel pops off. Pull it straight, pull it straight forward. Uh, this panel, pull it straight towards you. There you go. And then that uh, white clip lifted up. Yeah, I understand the clip. I yeah, there you go. Okay, gotcha. Here. Oh, it's gonna sink. There's also the, the bolts underneath the hinges. Also. Yeah, two bolts. So I don't know how we're getting those out. I have a kit. Oh, if he doesn't, hey, go get our uh, small Jeep kit with the torque wrench in it. Do so you can pull the all oh, the door stop, huh? Yeah, they pull that door, the door stopper off. Otherwise, this will just slide up and out of there, right? Yeah. 
Oh, it's just giving you slack, then. I still got the door. There we go. Yeah, there you go. All right. And I got my kid going to get the tool for it. In less than one, you're probably on your ass. Can you give me a little slack? There we go. Yep. Can't get it over there. Oh, the little hook thing? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Alright, we got... Is this the best place to right next to that? Yeah, make sure we get pictures. Yeah, that's why you put those signs there, huh? Yeah, as we dismantle it, yeah, that's probably a good job. Oh, just didn't get to the old page. What's that? Jeep kick. To take the doors off. Yeah. I'm about to tell you to hold on. You're in it now, Jim. We're going to get lined up. I'm like, okay. Here we go. I usually don't skin out. I'm going to get the card. I'm Straighten them out. Uh, I don't much yet, but I think we're at the end of the trail. We're at this last obstacle called Hardtop Valley. Uh, high likely, high, high possibility for damage on this one, uh, especially if you fall off the line, which we just saw that you happen, had to bring him back a little bit. It's like he can reset. We skipped this one, uh, don't really feel like dealing with that, uh, any kind of body damage. So, we're gonna watch a few more of these Jeeps take on this uh, obstacle, and then we're gonna get out of here. For the most part, the vibe of the whole day was pretty mellow. Then the samurai shook things up a bit and brought life to the party.
No, we can't push it. You want to just try either forward and we'll just help push the top back down? Or backward? That's the uh, Indus Football Colts. Last few people made it through uh, Hardtop Alley with some excitement. But uh, I think we're going to come back and do this troll again someday because we really didn't get to complete a lot of it because the guide wasn't too communicative about which one was an obstacle and which one was the actual trail. So I think someday we'll come back and complete this. But what we did was pretty challenging. 
I think. There were definitely some challenging parts. Uh, he did say that if he bypassed something, there was probably a really good reason for it, especially with the rains that they've had recently. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, and we saw, we saw how people struggled through, through a lot of these obstacles. obstacles. Yeah. So, you know. Pretty legit. Yeah. So, Slipwalk Gold's definite uh, recommend coming through here. Tomorrow we have a night run um, with some pretty cool people. So, we will see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.